you think outside the box and see the unusual in the simplest things? In our new video, we will introduce to you amazing life hacks, which will simplify your life for a bit. Is the battery not fitting in? What should you do if instead of the usual AA batteries in your arsenal, you only have AAA? Solve the problem with foil. Fold the foil in a small box. Place the foil to the negative pole of the battery. Insert the battery. Turn on the device. The garland works! And this life hack will show you how to make a unique stand for a cup made of caps. You will need seven multicolored plastic caps. Glue the strips of double-sided scotch tape on a sheet of parchment paper. Place the cap's flower on the scotch tape. Cover it with another sheet of parchment paper. Iron it so that the caps are pressed together. The stand turned out very bright and unusual. Do not hurry to hide the iron. You will use it in the next life hack. Let's learn how to make an original vase for every little thing. You will need food film, wide scotch tape, baking paper, and a glass bowl. Wind the vase with a film. Attach strips of scotch tape. Crop the extra edges. Iron the scotch tape using baking paper. Take out the glass vase. You get a nice little vase for small jewelry, cosmetics, or sweets. Such vases look very stylish and elegant. With a hot glue gun, now you can solve a problem of a clogged sink. Take a plastic cup which fits your sink drain hole and cut it up. Leave the bottom of it with a little edge. Cover the circle with aluminum foil and put some lotion on it. Place the foil over the hot glue net. When it dries, carefully remove the foil and we have a nice sink filter mesh. Cut the uneven edges. Let's check. It works! Now, garbage is not going to get into the pipes and clog the sink. How to make a heart-shaped box for sweets or gifts from a regular bottle. Take a plastic bottle. Mark the places to cut. Remove the bottleneck and the bottom. Now, we have a plastic cylinder. Compress it from one side, creating an even crease. On the other side, make a fold to roll up the plastic inside of a cylinder. To make a bottom and the cover for the box, we'll need construction paper. Place the heart on the paper. Circle the contour and cut it out. Apply hot glue on it and attach it to the bottom. To make a cover, take a paper strap of the required length and make the cuts. Glue straps to the cover. Now you can fill this cute heart-shaped box with sweets. Oops! The glass flipped over and filled everything around with water. Let's transform a regular glass into a smart no-spill cup. You need a piece of food film. Pour the Coca-Cola. Wrap the film around the neck of the glass. Pierce the film with a straw. Even if you accidentally hit and drop the glass, not a drop will spill out of it. An ordinary candle will help to save shoes from getting wet. Rub a piece of cloth with a wax candle. Heat it with a hairdryer so that the wax melts and spreads evenly over the surface. Test it. Droplets of water roll off the fabric, leaving it completely dry. Waterproof test passed! But this hooliganism has not stopped and someone pasted your workplace with chewing gum. The WD-40 will solve this task too. Apply it. After a couple of minutes, remove the chewing gum with a napkin. Spray on the stains and rub the countertop clean. Simply amazing! Captain, a whole puddle dead ahead on the linoleum. It doesn't matter because we have special slippers for eliminating water and pollution. You need a napkin made from a dense microfiber and slips in size. Put hot glue on the sole. Press firmly against a napkin. Crop the excess. Do the same with the second slipper. Done! I'll tell you how to make your own bathroom mat. You will need a rubber no-slip mat and bottle corks. Cut the corks in half. Attach them to the rug with a hot glue gun. Place the corks in pairs in staggered order.
such a comfortable mat of cork will fit into the interior of any bathroom. Do you have a bare wire? It's not safe to use it. The hot glue pistol comes to the rescue. Carefully cover the damaged area with hot glue. Done! The wire is insulated saved. Still have a bit of cement left after renovation? We'll show you how to use it for interior design. Get a lid from a box and cover it with some food service film. Mix the cement with water as per the instructions to get a thick, uniform mix. Pour it into the lid and spread it out evenly. Next, take a mug and place it on its side on the lid so that the cement fills up the mug. Insert two small tubes above so that later we can hang our piece on the wall. Let the cement dry. Once it's dry, gently take out the tubes. The base is a bit dark, so we've decided to lighten it up with some white acrylic paint. We get a very unusual hanging pot for our flowers. We can put in there some plastic or dry flowers, or maybe even plant some real ones. Do you still have some old cassette tapes laying around, but you just can't bring yourself to throw them away? Make a shelf out of them. Spray the tapes with some silver spray paint. Hot glue the tapes together like this. And we're done. Our old cassette tapes were transformed into a piece of high-tech decor. You can position the shelf vertically or horizontally and keep all your trinkets on it. Constantly tangled wires? Does this sound familiar? We have a simple solution. Get a plastic straw and cut it along with a spiral path. Wrap the straw around the wire, and that's it. Now, our wires will be neatly packed. Easier to score some diamonds in Minecraft than to get some ketchup out of those bottles. But we've got a life hack for that, too. We'll need an old soap or shower gel dispenser. Don't forget to thoroughly rinse it out. Replace the cap on the ketchup bottle with the soap dispenser. Voila! You don't need to shake that greedy bottle anymore. Just push on the dispenser and get all the sauce you need. Very convenient. It's so hard to resist those unhealthy and delicious potato chips. We've got a special life hack for our chips lovers. Put on a hoodie backwards. Now you have a convenient food pocket. Your hands are free and your favorite snack is always with you. Bon appetit! And if the pack of chips is too big to finish it all in one go, We'll make a nice munchy dispenser so that they don't spoil. We'll need a pack of wet wipes with a plastic cap. Cut off the cap. Then cut out a hole of the size of that cap in the chips bag. Stick the cap to the bag with double-sided tape. This nice plastic door will preserve all the crispiness of your chips. Can somebody please scratch my back? If there is no one around, a homemade scratcher will come to the rescue. You need three ballpoint pens and wooden sticks. Bend the pen's cores using pliers. Attach them to the stick with a hot glue gun. Strengthen the construction with one more stick on the top. Cap the tips with the droplets of hot glue. Scratching between the shoulder blades, that's what's missing for complete happiness. Well, you just cannot go to school in such a crumpled blouse, and the iron, as luck would have it, is broken. There is a way. Let's iron the shirt with a hair iron. If it can straighten hair, it sure will straighten the collar. Clamp the crumpled areas between the doors and slowly pull the iron over the fabric. Make sure that there are no lacquer residues or hairstyling products on the ironing pad. A couple of minutes and the iron blouse goes to the clothes hanger. Want to read before going to bed, but everyone in the house is already asleep? To not turn on the overhead light, use a special flashlight for your book. You can make one from a flashlight and a paper clamp. But first, let's make a mount. To make the tube flexible, insert a metal wire in it. Attach the tube to the clamp. Bend the second end of the tube and glue it to the flashlight. Close the clamp on the cover of the book. A backlight for a cozy evening of reading is ready. For the next idea, take some corduroy fabric from an old skirt. Cut a square the size of your laptop. Fold the fabric and spread a sheet of foam rubber over it. Turn the edges in and secure it with hot glue. 
Fasten a piece of plastic on top. Apply some hot glue around the perimeter and attach a plastic chopping board. Working with a laptop on your knees is completely different from when it's on a comfortable office desk. But now you have a comfortable soft desk for your knees. Put this stand on your legs and place your laptop on it. Well, this is a completely different vibe. Let's get to work! Like this video and subscribe to Troom Troom Select. And don't forget to click on the bell so you won't miss our new life hacks.